Hey everybody, Daryl Slater here with Connor Hughes in Foxborough, Massachusetts, where the Jets lost re a really big one yeah. today, 41 to three to the New England Patriots. Jets are four and 11. They've been blown out so far in December by the Colts, by the Dolphins, now by the Patriots. Today was their biggest loss since 2013. They they beat the Niners this month, and that's not saying much. But okay, so big picture here: Todd Bowles winding down his second year, a miserable loss season. Is it time to make a coaching change? And do we think Woody Johnson might? Yeah, I think that's probably the the two the two questions to ask, and they're and they're both they're both going to generate two very different answers. I mean, from my point of view, no, Todd Bowles should not be fired. I, I think that this is a very flawed Jets team. I think Todd Bowles is a very flawed head coach at this point in this point in time. But he did still win ten games last year. I don't care if they play JV teams; it's not easy to win 10, 10 games in the NFL. That's an accomplishment. You don't find coaches that do that too regularly. I mean, you should not fire him after just one down year. You should at least give him another opportunity because at the end of the day. This is a Jets roster that just isn't very good. They're not a good team. They don't have a lot of talent. That's on Mike McCagden, not on Todd Bowles. I mean, I think Todd's doing as much as he can with the players he has. 14 players on the injured reserve, something like that. Todd should not be fired, in my opinion. Will he be? Who knows what Woody Johnson's going to do. Man. Yeah, that's the other side to this question, and that's why we kind of made it a two-pronged question here. Uh, Woody Johnson has been known to make some decisions that are reactionary that um, are uh, sort of more in line with the emotional nature of what a, a fan might do, because he is a fan at heart. But look, I mean, uh, whether the Jets should fire Todd Bowles versus whether they will, those are really two different questions. I'm on board with you. I think uh, bring him back for another year. Now, with a rebuilding roster next year, that might not be, he might not be built to win next year either. So that might be it for him so maybe it's it's pointless necessarily to bring him back but i think it's just it's it's silly to fire a coach after 2 years he is a flawed coach but i do think there's a chance woody johnson makes a move because these three games here in December, these three losses I should say, have been absolutely embarrassing for the Jets. Even though, look, win loss wise out here on this field this afternoon, the Jets were going to lose this game. I mean, the yes. Patriots are a superior team, but the Jets looked listless, lifeless, and they didn't even keep it close. And that, the optics of that are very bad for a coach who is 4-11. So we'll see what the Jets do. We'll be back with you this week from Florham Park, and uh, Merry Christmas everybody.